Good afternoon, Miss Sherry here from Scenic Regional Library in Owensville, and I'm so glad you can join me. We are going to take a look at decorating pumpkins and some different techniques and tools that you can use. These are pretty fast and easy, so I hope you'll enjoy. All right, get ready. Basic tools and supplies that you're going to need are some inexpensive acrylic paints like these. Um, you can purchase these at your local craft store or Walmart. You need some paint brushes. These are some angled brushes, maybe um, a round brush and a couple other variations of brushes. And scissors, painter's tape, um, a green scrub pad in case you need to clean anything off, a container of water, okay? And those are the basic tools that you're gonna need. Now I'll show you my examples. This is my first example. You can see that I have um, cover, covered the background with black paint and I put tape over all of these spots that have remained orange. So I put tape just like I have on the tablecloth here. I left a little bit of space in between and I basically used triangles and squares, but you could use other simple geometric shapes. I think or I basically use rectangles and squares. I think triangles would work well too. Um, and I put the blue pieces of tape all over my pumpkin. And once I got my tape in place, then I painted with the black paint. I had to let it dry. When I peeled it off, it had a lot of rough edges, even though I had smoothed the tape down. So make sure you smooth it down really well on your surface of your pumpkin. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But then I decided, I think it adds to this design. Here's the other side of the same pumpkin. I just went back and added a little bit more to it. So I put some little dots here and there, some stitch marks to look like they were um, patches or something sewn in place, um, and those kind of things. And then over here, I started painting a little spider web. So you could add those kind of things if you wanted. Or if you're happy with this look, you can leave it as it is. You need to let the paint dry thoroughly before you start to peel any of the tape off. And be careful when you take the tape off. Again, you can use the blue painter's tape. I'll just put him on top of the pumpkin right there. I think masking tape would work well too. So on my next example, I took masking or the blue painter's tape, put it to the sides, and then um, to mask off this area, and that's what I've done right over here. And you can see, um, maybe see where the tape is in place here and here. And then I went along with some brush strokes. So I'm gonna go back with some brush strokes over that here in just a moment. Um, and then on these sides, I've just already taken the tape off. Here I have some triangles that I've used to make the face of my jack-o'-lantern. And I'm going to go back I'm going to paint around it with some bright green paint. We'll see what this looks like and I'll dry it and peel the tape off so you can see what the process looks like. So I've started to put the green paint. I'm going to continue to cover the face with the green paint and go all around and just let it go however it ends on the outside edges. I'm not going to worry about that. It's probably gonna take a couple of coats, so I'm quickly going to add those layers of green paint. Now I've completely covered the area where my tape was. I'll go back after this is dry and peel the tape off, and we'll look at that in just a minute. This is the back side of the pumpkin that's going to have the green face on it. So I have one more area where I mask off and I put some pieces of tape on, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put some green paint on here too. We'll let this dry and we'll see what it looks like once the piece is finished. And I'll show you how to peel the tape off here in just a few minutes. While we're waiting for the green pumpkin to dry a little bit, this is another one that um, I took some pieces of tape and you can see where I masked them out. Then I went back and added some little swirlies, some little designs here and there. So things that you can do um, let's try some gold paint on here and see. And I had lots of mistakes on mine, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about too. And if I made a mistake, 
that's what that green pad is for. I just carefully took it to the sink, took a little bit of water, but just a little bit, and scrubbed it off and started all over again. When you're finished, you may wanna go back and spray your pumpkins with some kind of fixative. Um, but you need to have an adult help you with that and that'll keep the paints in place. Whether you use temper paints or you use the inexpensive acrylic paints in the bottles like I've got here. So that, that's what I did there. A great way to dot, maybe I want some dots on here, is to take the end of your paintbrush and just go back and put some little dots in place. So the pumpkin that I showed you earlier that had a dot pattern on it, that's how I added those dots. So I've got some black ones there. Maybe I still don't really like how this guy looks so much. And I go back and I add some white dots in there too. I think I still have a little black on my paintbrush. They may look more gray than white. So some more things that you can do to decorate your pumpkin. All right, let's see if that green pumpkin is just about dry. All right, next up, we're gonna take the tape off. This is kind of the exciting part. So when you take the tape off, if it's a long piece especially, peel it almost flat. So see how I'm just holding it down rather than ripping it right off. Now I had layers of color here. So some of the colors are just gonna come off with the tape. I think it's unavoidable. If you take the tape and you run it over your clothes before you put it onto your pumpkin, it won't be quite as sticky and it won't lift as many of those colors. But the last color I put on was green. And then you can see some of the blues and the whites that were on the layers underneath the green paint. Here goes another one. It's also kind of hard to peel it off without getting a little bit, um, a little bit of a chip from your fingernails. Now we're gonna pull off one of these long side strips and we'll see what happens here. And again, I'm gonna pull it flat, almost down straight, something like there. And you can start to see my line right here that separates, I've got orange, then I've got colors, just random colors crisscrossing. I keep pulling it almost flat because if I pick it up, then it tends to get fuzzier edges. And there's another piece of tape on there that I'm gonna go back and take off first. So I peel that off, lifting oh, a little more blue paint than I wanted. But again, it's just an experiment and a practice. And if you don't like it, you know how you can take it back off of there. Just with that green pad, the paints will come off pretty easily. All right, there I've got one nice clean edge there. I'll flip it around. We'll do the same thing over here. Hopefully you can see what's going on. I'll turn it around and set it back up. And now you can see I have my three bands of color and I can wipe that green paint off right there. I've got a band of color, some orange, another band of color, some orange, another band of color. Ta-da, and this side, what is going on here? Let's take a look. On this side, we have the um, face of the pumpkin that I masked out earlier using those triangles. So hopefully, I forgot I had two layers. Hopefully, hopefully, we've got a good looking jack-o'-lantern face happening here. So there's triangle number one. Certainly you could use a different color. I just really like this color of green. And I can leave the fuzzy edges along the eyes or I could go back and I could clean those up by scraping a little bit off with a plastic utensil. So there's the eyes. Now to reveal the teeth. And I would just keep going and taking my pieces of tape off. And there is the green face of the jack-o'-lantern. I went back with an angled brush. Let me show you what that is. It's got a tip that's at an angle. Just dipped it in a little bit of white paint and went along the edges of the eyes on one side and around the mouth. All right, so that's that side. The other side, again, so I've got two sides 
and I can turn it around so it can be viewed from different directions. I've just got some stripes or bands of random color and random paints. So those are a few things that you can do with masking tape and paints and just be creative, see what kind of solutions you can come up with. We'll take one final look at all of the um, pumpkins together. Here again are my finished products and uh, the tools and supplies that you might wanna make sure that you have. So some painter's tape or some masking tape, scissors, a few different colors of paint. They can be Halloween colors, they can be pastels, whatever you like. A green pad just in case you need it and your imagination. Have fun. Thank you.